Hotmods.net Guide Greetings people, my name is Notman from Hotmods.net. Today I'm going to show you how you shorten your SATA cables. Not your SATA power cables, but your SATA signal cables or data cables. Stay tuned. Now the tools you're going to use for this would first of all be a Stanley knife like this, a set of diagonal cutters like these, and finally to test the cables once you've made them, would be a multimeter like this one. Oh, and yep, you would also be needing a vise like this one with jaws that don't that don't hurt the the plug at the end. Because what we're going to do is, we're going to take apart this plug at the end, cut the cable to the length that I need, and then force this plug back again. When I take it apart, uh, you will see exactly what I mean. I mean, these cables with, with these are small, I think it's called slim SATA cables or something like that. Have a look at this. I'm using the ones from Akasa, where they are called Pro Slim, but I know there are also other manufacturers out there that produce the same with, with the same plug at the end, and you take them apart exactly the same way. And now, the reason for why I wanted to make this video was because I couldn't find a video of this procedure. There are some series of pictures and some articles that describe how you do, but not really a video. So, so hopefully you will also benefit uh, from this. Okay, to remove the connector from the cable itself, we need to have a look at the connector, how it's joined together with the cable. And if we look at it from behind, you can see, let me show you here. You can see that it has these uh, locks or something, that interlocks, so it keeps the connector securely locked together and pressed down uh, to the cable. Because inside the connector, there are some pins that will, uh, yeah, that you will force through into the cable and make a connection uh, with uh, each of the eight, I think it's eight, individual wires that run inside a cable like this. Well, first of all, you need to remove this metal clip up here, and there are these, what should I call them, pins here, that uh, part of the metal clip runs under. You have to push the metal pin in that direction, and then you can lift under the pin here, and clear the little part of the metal pin that runs under these pins here. It's a lot of pin talk right there. Let me see if I can do this. Push it forward and uh, you can see it's... I don't know if you can see that, but the part of the, the metal clip that was obscured by the, these two plastic pins on either sides and is now visible. So you should be able to lift up Yep, you heard that click. You lifted up the metal security lock from under there, and now you you should simply be able to push away the rest. It can be a little bit tough to do that, um, but take on a pair of gloves if you need to. But see here, I pushed it out of these little recesses or grooves that it has, and it and it came off this way. Installation is the opposite. I'll show you this afterwards when I put the plug back together again. But what you have now, now you have this portion from here to here to here. It's now free and you can lift it up. So what you do is you take your knife, you run it in here, and you start ever so slightly. I would say run, put the knife blade all the way in there and then twist it up and down. Twist it up and down like this. Don't, don't force it or anything. I mean, you want the plug, uh, the connector to be as nice as possible. So it's also nicely looking after you've put it back together. At least I do. And you can see, I've now lifted it up a bit and you can see that 
at the bottom here it's also starting to loosen itself so do a little more not too much easy 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 all right and at this point you have lifted it out of the security latch here or what should i call it the security lock so you can take small screwdriver flat headed like this one and then you should be able to insert it here at the bottom and ever so slightly move it run it all the way slightly turning it so you're breaking apart the plot like this and it takes a while take your time Not like this and there we go i felt it come apart and now that it's uh, you've, it's come apart, you have this section. You can simply pull it out because nothing is holding the cable back. So you have this one. Ta -da 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 -da, with the grooves, you can see some grooves here. And then you have the other, the more important thing, where the connections are actually made. And you can see you have these sharp pins that when you join the cable and, and you push it firmly together in the vise, these pins will penetrate the cable and hopefully connect to each of the seven or, or is it eight? Let me count here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight, but the middle, two middle ones are joined together because it's one common ground wire. So what we do is, let me take the cable that I have this is one where I have cut off one end and I know it's the right length for me. And make sure that you, <laughs> you mount the connectors in the right orientation afterwards. It goes like, you put this back together. Ta -da. If you put them like this, they should be exactly the same. It's not the other way around. It's not not on top like this, from from top to top. It's the other way around. Here we go. Okay, put it in like this. Make sure it come, moves all the way to the front and sits flush with these uh, recesses. Can you say that recesses in English? I'm not sure. All right. And then you simply lay it on top here. Make sure that you have checked that you didn't bend any of these pins. They need to be straight and if you've taken really good care when you were uh, disassembling the plug they should be uh, straight like these are. So yeah, you place it on top like this. Huh. Yeah. Use your fingers a little bit to to hold everything in place. And now let's move over to my vise, where I'll show you how to use the vise to, to press everything nice and easy back together. Okay, here's my vise, and I'm going to take these brass jaws, and I'm putting them in here because when I push the connector back together, these are somewhat soft, and they will not leave any marks on the connectors. And uh, leaving marks, reducing the amount of marks that you can is always important for a case model so that's what we're going to do i'm going to take the the connector and line everything up as good as i can close the jaws a little bit more so i don't have to to do much when i finally put pressure on it all right i've put i've tried to align everything put it together here i'm going to insert it into the vise. I'm going to close it a little bit more. And you can say at this point, having a vise is really necessary. It's nice to have a vise. Um, as a case model, there's just so many uses for it. But you take the cable, uh, the connector, put it in your vise. Mm 
it's a little bit tricky to do this but once you're there you can put a little bit more pressure on it and I always like to move the cable as far into the middle of the visor as I can because I know the pressure is going to be more or less even there at least more even than out here at the end so we put it in here not going and take care at this point that you don't break those small plastic tips that would be securing the security metal clip afterwards all right now we have everything lined up it looks good and it's simply a matter of turning your vise forcing those metal pins into the cable and hopefully connecting with the right wires and uh, no need to uh, to put too much pressure on it when you release it again afterwards yeah and the connector is now joined nicely together as far as I can see from here there's a slight gap here but I wouldn't worry too much about it I'm going to take the the metal that locks everything nicely together slide it into the recess on both sides and stop right before the metal pins here and here reach this plastic uh, raised plastic portion then you you press it down like this take a screwdriver and be very careful you don't hurt your hands you know I think it's more easy if you lay it down hold behind and then push it forward or push it back in there let's see what we have yeah I think with this would be good enough So the metal security lock works again and now well in theory you have a cable that is shortened and you will be able to use it but at this point it would be good if you tested the cable so let's bring out the multimeter I put it on 200 ohms I tell you what I'll actually go up to 2000 because I think that will fit this and then I've taken the cables here and I've I don't know what you call these in 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 Danish I think we call them crocodile jaws looks a bit like a crocodile grab the end and in the other end I have taken a small needle because that small needle fits more or less nicely into into these holes and in these holes you have a connection to the other side so yeah, I'm not sure but if you can see the, the the metal pins in here they actually also connect to these holes you take your needle and push it in so, careful you don't need to go very far in there you go and then you take the needle on the other cable let's move it up a little bit so you can see the value see if it changes and pay attention you're testing the right wire inside the cable it should be this one put it in there hmm. let's try to move up one up one value maybe the values are good enough I'm not really sure I don't know the 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 electrical resistance <laughs> in this short cable um, but it's at 0 0.2 0 0.1918 okay let's move to the neighbor to test it here and at this point always check the 
connections that are neighbors to the one you are currently testing to see if you have made any short circuits. No, no connection, but at the other end. Move it to number two. Hmm, it looks good. And the rest. Number three. Looks good. Check the neighbor. Number four. Yeah, looks good. Check the neighbor, which is number five. It's fine. Number six. Oh, I'm really lucky today. All right, number seven. Whoa. And the last one. Whoa, that's impressive. So there you have it. I've tested the cable. I know it's going to work. There it is. Your short SATA cable. You can make any length of cable and as I, as I mentioned before I used this brand but uh, I'm not endorsing it in any way it's simply because well they are using the connectors that uh, that I found to be easiest to work with. Let me point the camera back towards me because I haven't been in the shot for a long time and I want to be in the shot. There we go that was easy wasn't it? Stay tuned for more guys from hotmods.net <laughs>